shot this video once this morning. I didn't really like the way it turned out. So we're going to do it on my way to work. Anyway, so it's been approximately a month, maybe just over a month since I posted a video on anything RC related. I've taken some time off because I was sick for about two or three weeks. Um, I had COVID. It took a minute for it to subside. It wasn't too bad, but bad enough. Anyway, so I still have all my broken RCs. <clears throat> I haven't really fixed any of them, and I haven't ordered any parts. I've been ridiculously busy with work, and since here, well, in Ohio, they have uh, decided to start eliminating people from workplaces if you don't get the vaccine, stuff like that. So I've taken some time from work, trying to find uh, the best position for me and my family. Anyway, but I do have a couple of projects going. They're just not RC related. Uh, I've got an LS engine build I'm doing. If you're interested, I'll post it up. If you're not, I might make a new channel for this build. I don't know. I've also got plenty of work going on. Uh, five days a week, sometimes six, which is normal, you know, Monday through Friday job. But it's a lot of work. So, again, sorry that I haven't been posting videos. I've just been so busy in between family, work, you know, having fun with the kids, stuff like that. So it's been nice, but I'd like to get back to it. Uh, I can always fix up the uh, RCs that I have, which will take some time. <clears throat> Or I can order a new RC, depending on which one, I'm not sure yet. I've really been looking at the new Arma, or Ven Vendetta, I believe it is. I hear, uh, who is that? Not Lucy, it's, uh, I don't know, whoever's coming out with the 1.6 crawler. I've been looking at that, that looks awesome. But I'm only gonna pick one, definitely not two. And if I don't pick one, then I'm going to end up rebuilding uh, either the Vortex and putting a widening kit on it. Uh, I've been doing some reading on the uh, what, Typhoon arms. You can widen it up with uh, the different, yeah, you can put different tires and widen it up. People say it does amazing things, so I want to try that. The X-Max is pretty much rusted solid. I did talk to JJ Customs on trying to get that thing rebuilt for me. And they're, uh, they gave me a price of I think 300 or 400 bucks to do bearings and the whole entire thing which still doesn't fix my issue it's just it's rusted solid since I took it out in the salt water the vortex needs a whole new uh, power plant uh, ESC motor <coughs> and bearings but again it I've got a power plant sitting I just haven't put in it the infraction slash limitless build since I've crashed it, it's just sat. I haven't had time to order stuff and put it together. I was looking at it this morning. It looks like the uh, it looks like the chassis may have a slight bend in it again from the last crash. I'll have to tear it down and take a look. Essentially, I don't have any running RCs at the moment. I can do a build, like rebuild one and get it going and do some more stuff. But like I said, right now I've been focused on work, family, and I've got a small project of an LS build, uh, trans, cam, heads, intake, uh, fun stuff like that. Winter time, I usually, I know last winter I ran RCs, but every winter before I started this channel, I was doing uh, car builds, engine builds, transmissions, stuff like that. So last year was the first year I strictly did RC. It was fun, don't get me wrong, but it's cold and miserable out there sometimes like right now it's uh 29 degrees outside there's no snow on the ground but it's cold out and plastic does not like cold and you're going to break something and then it sits and costs more money so again guys i know this isn't an rc related video but let me know what you'd like to see either a build or a review on a new rc or maybe an engine build on an ls i don't know you just let me know and We'll do our best to make it happen. So until next time, guys, I'll see you soon.